Students, we're going to make a trivia game with WIC. Okay, I'm going to give you a rubric to follow. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Basically, you are going to have an intro uh, title page. You're going to have five questions, and then you're going to have a page where it says you won. Okay, now your questions can be true or false, or they can be like a, a multiple choice question with at least two choices. All your questions, there needs to be at least one right answer and at least one wrong answer. And the wrong answers will take you back to either the beginning or the question before. Okay. Now, the theme for your trivia game, I'm pretty open to whatever you want to do. You could do facts about yourself. You could do sports. You could do movies. Uh, be creative as you want. I'm pretty open-ended with that. Now, <clears throat> for the video, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a topic that I asked one of my sixth graders. I said, hey, what's something you know a lot about? And she said, I know a lot about cockroaches. And I said, great, write me five questions about cockroaches. And that's what our video is going to be about. My trivia game is going to be about cockroach trivia, which is super gross, and I know that. But it's also kind of funny. So here we go. I got my intro slide that I'm going to make, and I'm going to call it uh, Mr. Metters Super Gross Cockroach Trivia Game. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to get this tool right here. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to make it bigger like that. Okay. In your rubric, you're going to have to have some images. One per slide. Okay. So I'm going to click my roach image here. I'm going to click save. I'm going to click replace. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and go to the asset library over here. See this right here? And I'm going to click upload assets. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder and grab this American cockroach right here. And then I'm going to just grab it. And I'm going to put it right here. And it's going to be there to gross everyone out. Okay. We got a great start. Okay. Now, I am going over here to the asset library. I'm going to get a built-in asset. Okay. Now, I am going to get right here. It's the click me button. And it's I've actually already added it. Okay. But that's how you'll bring it in. And I'm going to just drag it over right here. Okay. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Or a little bit smaller, rather. Excuse me. And that is going to be how the player gets to the next one. Okay. Now, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click the plus, And I'm going to get ready for my first question. Okay. Now, something you are going to have to remember to do is if you don't if you don't tell these slides to stop, they're going to flash like this when you press play. Okay? So, I'm going to click on this frame right here on the green dot. Okay? Now, I'm going to go up here where it says default and edit the default script. Now, right here, I'm going to choose timeline, and then I'm going to just press stop. Okay? Now, notice the difference now? That is going to stop the uh, frame dead in its tracks. Okay? Now, I'm going to go click on this frame right here, and I'm going to click the default script button timeline and stop i'm going to x that out okay so both of my frames now have this little orange dot on the top that means that they're staying still they're standing still okay now i'm going to go here i'm going to put some interactive stuff here on my button i'm going to click right there and i'm going to go up to the here where it says mouse click and i'm going to click that and i'm going to click the timeline button again i'm going to click go to and stop okay oops i'm going to fix this real quick Okay, now it should look white like that with purple. I'm going to change this number here to 2. Okay, so let's press play. And when I click, click me, it goes to the next frame. Yay, we're doing good. Okay, so now I'm going to get my first question on deck that my person helped me write. It says, true or false, roaches get roasted into coffee on accident sometimes mm. that is icky gross okay all right so here i go i got this right here i'm gonna resize it okay says so true or false roaches get roasted into coffee on accident sometimes well that's pretty gross i'm sorry guys i'm gonna click and write true and then i'm also going to click the text button again i'm gonna write false okay i'm gonna get my cursor tool right here i'm gonna size it up and here we go i'm gonna make these bigger and we're going to take a look. It should look like that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to my asset library, add a built-in asset. Okay. I'm going to get the click me button. Hey, wait, I already did that. I don't need to do this again. So I'm going to drag this right here. Okay. And I'm going to set this next to the true button. Okay. So if they want to choose true, they can click that right there. I'm going to drag this over again. Okay. I'm going to size this down. And I'm going to drag it right here. Okay. So, we need to add some code to this button right here. <clears throat> well, I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm going to go here to the false button, and I'm going to edit the code for that. <clears throat> I'm going to roll down here where it says mouse click. I'm going to hit the enter key, go to line 2, I'm going to click timeline, and I'm going to go to and stop, 
and I'm going to just leave it on frame number one. If it's false, I'm going to have it go back to the frame before. Okay? So that's good. Now, this one for true, I'm going to edit the code for that. I'm going to click uh, highlighted where it says true. Now I'm going to scroll down here and click mouse click. And I'm going to hit the enter key. Go down here to where it says timeline. And I'm going to click go to and stop. And I'm going to click frame three. Okay? So, let's hit play on that. Okay? So if I go here... It doesn't take me anywhere because I don't have a frame fr three yet. Okay, so I need to click right here, add a frame three. Okay, so let's let's go back here. I'm gonna press play. So if I go here and click this, it'll go to frame three. But you know what? I need to make sure that that little orange dot there that stops the timeline is there. So I'm gonna click the default script, timeline, and stop. And close that out, and I got that little orange dot there too. Okay, so now I'm ready for my second question. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to actually, this question, I'm going to label it. I'm going to call it question two. Okay. So this question is going to be, ugh, it's is a good one. Roaches can be eaten for protein if prepared correctly. Ooh, that's gross. Okay. So, all right. Let me get my text button here. Right. True. Okay. And I'm also going to hit my text button again. I'm going to click false. Okay, there we go. Let's size those up like that and size it up like this. Okay, I got my assets over here. I'm going to drag a button over like that. Okay, oops, too small. And there we go. I might shrink it down like this. You know what you can even do before you program it? You can actually make a copy of it. So I'm going to do that. Copy it and I'm going to go up here and edit the code. I'm going to drop down the second line, click timeline. Now, if it's true, I'm going to choose go to and stop, and I want it to go to frame number one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put four right here. All right. So I'm going to close that out. If it's false, I'm going to click right here on the mouse click and edit that. I'm going to click enter, go to timeline, and have it go to and stop. And I'm going to have it kick them back to frame number two, the frame right before. All right. Okay. So let's take it to, from the top. Here I'm going to click right here where it says play. Okay. So I have Mr. Matter's Super Gross Cockroach Trivia Game. Click me. I've got an image. That looks great. I'm going to click click me. Oops, you know what? I forgot to put an image right there. So let's go get another gross roach image right there. Let's do this right here. That's really icky. So let's save this. It's got a random name. How am I going to bring that in? I'm going to go to upload assets. I'm going to grab that from my downloads folder. Click open. And then here it is right here. I'm going to drag it in and gross everyone out with that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> all right. So let's go back here. I'm going to press play. Click, click me, and then it says true or false. Roaches get roasted in coffee on accident sometimes. Well, I'm gonna click false just for the sake of doing it. Ah, it took me back. That went from frame two to frame one. Okay, so I'm gonna try again, and I'm gonna click uh, true. Roaches do get roasted in coffee on accident sometimes. And it takes me to frame number three. Here's my question number two. It says roaches can be eaten for protein if prepared correctly. And the answer is hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna say false. Oh, it took me back to the previous question. So. I got it wrong. I have to do this again. Okay. Now, I'm going to resize this. Make it look a little bit better. I'm also going to bring my really gross roach in again. Okay. So, that's something to think about. When they get at false, it can either take them back to the slide at the beginning, slide number one, or you can have it kick it back to the slide before. That's going to leave that up to you. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. So, this is true. So, I'm going to click that code right here. And I'm going to scroll down after I clicked on it, and I'm going to click the mouse click here, and I'm going to choose, I already programmed it to go to slide four. However, I don't have a slide four. I'm going to click right there, okay? So for just the sake of speed, I'm only going to do two questions, okay? Now, let's just say that they get it right, and they get all your questions right. You're going to have to do five. When they get to the last one, you need to have some kind of celebratory slide that says, hey, you won the game, okay? So I'm going to put you won, and okay. So let's see how that looks. Okay, going back. Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so I'm going back here to click me, start it. Oh, I'm going back here in the beginning. I'm going to press play. The click me button will take you to slide two. Okay, if I get the answer correctly here, it'll take me to slide three. Okay, it says roaches can be eaten for protein if prepared correctly. Ooh, I'm going to choose false. Oh, remember it takes me back to the previous slide. Okay, I'm going to click this. I know it's true. And then I, oops, I made a mistake. I said false. But now we know the answer is true. I'm going to click true, and it says, hey, you won. But hey, guess what? There's no way to get back. So I'm going to unpause this. I'm going to go over here to my assets. I'm going to grab this button right here, 
and I am going to edit the script for that. And I'm going to click the inner key, go down to line number two, click timeline, and I'm going to put go to and stop, and I'm going to leave it at frame number one. Okay? So let's take it from the top again. Here we go. Click me. I'm ready to play. True or false? Roaches get roaches, roasted in a coffee on accident sometimes. True. Roaches can be eaten for protein if prepared correctly. True. Hey, I won the game. Now when I click click me, it goes back to the beginning. Slide number one. So pay attention to that. Okay? Now, something to think about with your trivia game. You might not want to have true false. You might want to have like where it says choice A or choice B. That's totally up to you. Okay? You can do that. I'm totally good with that. You could have like choice A is uh, roach legs or something like that. Okay? It doesn't have to be true false. Okay? It's going to be your, your choice there. Okay? So please pay attention to the rubric. You got five questions that you need to do. You need to have a beginning slide like this. You need to have an ending slide where you're telling me one, that button needs to go back to the very beginning. Okay, you need to have a button here that lets them start the game and takes them to frame number two. And you need to have at least three, I mean, you need to have at least five questions. Okay, Mr. Metter only had two for the purpose of the video, but you guys need to have five. You can work in a group, uh, make your trivia game fun and silly and have a good time with it and be creative.